We are back in the Del Marva Life Kitchen this afternoon, and we are in the final play. Got that? Like that? Oh, uh, that's, that's good stuff, uh, Yeah, <laughs> of making a breakfast, a healthy breakfast. Yes, yeah. little, little sweet potato home fries. Jimmy over here is about to poach our egg, and Jimmy, why don't we get to that if we shall? Can I? You, you want to juggle no, first? I yes, he, he does. No, Let him juggle. What are you capable okay, of? So Let's it, find out. What, what am I? Breaking this in here or breaking it yeah, in there? Yeah, so break it into the ramekin, which sort of keeps everything together, and then you'll introduce it with the ramekin to the boiling water. Oh, okay. And I find that that sort of keeps things together, um, you know, Better. make sure that the yolk or the white doesn't really separate from the yolk so oh, much. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, Lisa, let's have you spice our potatoes here. Now, I go with something really plain. Um, well, not really plain. It kind of brings a little bit of heat out. I do just kind of a couple dashes of paprika, a little bit of chili powder, and garlic powder. They basically are all to taste. It's it's what you really feel like having at a particular moment. So, hey, you guys are going to be eating. So, yeah. how, how hot do you like Just it? Just take well, the lid off the of the chili that's powder, will be good. Jimmy and I are kind of uh, on opposite ends. <laughs> right. Jar right in there. Of Am course. I stirring this before I put it in? Yes, yes. yes. We're going to get a little water bath going. Look at this. Jimmy's an egg poaching pro, ladies and he gentlemen. Is. That's be very fantastic. Do you want to do play by play? Yeah, why not? And okay. the egg is introduced <laughs> to the water. All right. And there we go. It's off. Poaching begins. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, you know, these spices for me are just some of the, my favorite things that I like <laughs> to have around in the kitchen. Kitchen, um, you oh, know. it's gonna boil over! Up, oh, and it is boiling over. <laughs> there we go. And that's exactly what the beauty of TV is here, folks. We get to see everything happen in real time. Did I kill it? Now we need to know if the chicken survives or not. That's yeah, a really no, good it, question. Yeah, mm. We're gonna dial our heat back just a little bit. I think we turned it up so that it would boil Yeah, faster. so we could get a quick boil on it. But hey, it's actually gonna cook it quicker. So. Oh, good! Hey, we made a little mess, but it's all right. Yeah. It's okay, we recover from these kinds of things. That's good. But so anywho, um, before we boil the sweet potatoes, and uh, you know, that sort of just brings out the toughness, takes out starch from them, and now we're sauteing them in a couple tablespoons of olive oil along with a little bit of red onion. You can use a yellow onion, you can use a white onion. This is a very flexible sort of thing, so <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not looking to uh, make anybody angry by saying that's not how you make traditional home fries, so. Um, and, and if you would like the recipe, the basic recipe, just send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801, or you can go to our website, delmarvalife.com, click on what's happening today. All right. And this is what's happening today. This is. This is, it? is, it, are we ready? This is yeah. where it's happening. Yeah, we're basically ready. So that egg will be done here in a little bit. If you want to grab the slotted spoon there behind slotted you, spoon. save yourself a little bit of trouble. So we got our fried home fries and eggs. Sweet potato home fries, if this you will. so good. Bring that down. Look at that. Not not great plating skills at all. That's okay. Like I, like I said, there's no formal culinary whatever. Before we I don't get any farther, tell me real quick again how you got started with food. Yeah, so I got started with food because I actually worked in an Italian restaurant prior to my job here. I was waiting tables at a um, Italian restaurant that serves custom-made uh, brick fire pizzas or wood fire pizzas. Right. and. It was just an amazing experience, sort of opened up my palate, and I have been doing that since I was like Ever 17 since? years old. Oh my old. gosh. Okay, yeah. what now? What do we do? All right, so now we're going to take the egg out of the water here if she is ready, and it looks like it is. That is one ready egg right oh, there. Oh, yes, I and think. we are going to top it right here. Yeah, drain the liquid a little bit. Right there. Nice. Right there. All right. Excellent. Okay. And then, Lisa, you want to finish us off with a little bit of arugula on top? Now, obviously, top? I like to do multiple eggs, I'm a big protein guy. But this right here is what you want your finished product to look like. Look at that. And we're going to show off the Fork's egg there ready. a little bit. Yeah. And why not? Fork's ready. Wait, am I the only one without a oh, fork? Yep, you sure are. <laughs> There's a good word. reason for that, too, no, it's Zach. Okay. Just hey, want to let you know. It's all on you guys. Go ahead. Break yep, that yolk. Yep. It's all about, you know, getting that stuff out there and, and seeing what we got. But this is something just really healthy, super easy to make, um, and mm. I find can satisfy basically whatever. If, if, you know, you had a rough night the night before, and uh, you know you're looking for a good recovery breakfast. This might be up your alley. There you go, Zach, Zach Barnes, you. WBOC sports director. Thank and kitchen extraordinaire, extraordinaire. food yeah, yeah. Instagrammer. Thank <laughs> you for coming in. We're definitely going to have you back. We have Thank a look you. at tonight's primetime lineup. That's next. Delmarva Life. Stay with us.